Hi everybody, my name is Aníbal Azevedo and now is the class 10 of track 1 about how I can construct a container ship and a simulation related with this. And now we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna construct finally the container ship class. So let's start coding here. And if you didn't see the last class, this class will be important in the next class, okay? So it appears some card anywhere here. You must see this, how to draw a container ship and the, the previously class is interesting for this. So let's code. And I'm, I'm already on Google Colab. And here uh, you can construct his as a kind of Google Docs uh, document where you can put some Python commands. So I will use uh, import, but not at this moment. I will construct the, the container ship class. So what is the container ship class? The container ship class, I will first uh, define a new type of variables. So container ship class, this is how I can define it. And I will start with a new function, a constructor function that will start uh, initial values for some fields of this class. So I have b equal to this is the standard value for the parameter p, b. So if the user didn't uh, give some value for b, this will be assumed as equal to 2. So fine. Okay. So next is the parameter related with number of lines and the next parameter is related with the number of columns. Finally, I have this ship equals to NP zeros. This is a NumPy command. Uh, this is an a library that enable us to construct some uh, vector of matrix, a uh, three dimensional matrix as NP. So this command is very interesting and easy to use for, since I can use just this and also to, to find or to refer to some element of the container ship. It's also easy to, to use this NP zeros, this command. So I can use B, M, N, this, okay? So I define the, the initial size or the fixed size of the container ship or the space, the grid space of the container ship. Uh, but all spaces are empty since they are with value zero, okay? And also I can specify, I can call a set cargo map function. So I will pass ship, this ship initial value for ship will be correctly uh, set using set cargo map. And also I will have another interesting and important thing, which is the color map. I will use a uh, PX. This command is come is, is come from this library, Plotly. Plotly. Dot express SPX. Okay. So I use PX colors and uh, px colors quantitative dot quantitative um, light 24 this is a map okay a color map that we are using here a predefined color map my keys gonna be a list I will convert a list and it will be a, a range of numbers, integer numbers. So I will use zero to land values plus one. Okay. So these are the keys, the integer values of keys. I, I added one because if I just put land of values, it will be a less values than necessary to create the dictionary. So I can create now a dictionary of colors we can say uh, see everything before i create the class dictionary will be a zip uh, it create a pair of 
keys and values. So uh, finally, I will call self set color map, uh, and pa uh, you will pass the values on map C. Okay. So uh, the last thing to do is to create just these two functions. Let's create them. So def set cargo map self ship. Why I'm using here self? Because this is the parameter. When I calling uh, something, some function, I should specify that a specific object is calling this function. So I use this parameter self. Even I don't have additional parameter self is also uh we also have this uh, always have this self parameter to to signalize which is the object that's calling the function okay so now i s just perform this operation self dot cargo map this is uh, the f this the field that stores the initial value it can change using set cargo map okay and also we have our function that serves to define the color map, not the cargo, not the arrangement, the grid of, of the container ship that uh, will be used to, to signalize which cargo are stored in each space of the container ship. Here we have self color map, map C. Okay, finally I have self figure make subplots and uh, rows then ship okay so this is gonna be the number of base and it will serve to, to plot not not at this moment okay but we will need uh, this uh, field selfie to specify how we're gonna plot some uh, some uh, container ships. Okay, finally I have a, a, the last function here. We can also uh, define or set the color sh color map and the ship arrangement, the co uh, cargo arrangement on ship. So I will do this map. See but what how i can do this i call the two functions that i created for this specific uh, task self set color map map c Pro okay and finally i can get this empty function and uh, this is a very simple function since we can create so remember that in the description of this video i have a link to my uh, google collab this google collab and you can uh, find this you can download this you can copy this to your own uh, google collab and save this or use this in your google collab and some perform some tests okay finally i have this shape and I believe that's it. No, I have to, to put zero on, on all elements. So I should use this range zero to NB. For J in range zero and call and for in range and lines and m we can refer to each element in this manner and put zero this is the empty function okay so uh, okay so uh, what i can do here Let's see if this is right. Okay, so I'm passing here 
the reference to cargo map. I should put this a copy of this. Yeah. Let's change some. Okay, I should some perform some tests. Okay, so let's perform some tests of this class. We already defined everything. So ship dot np zeros and I will use the dimensions two, three, and four. And uh, okay. So I can use some uh, zero here. I can insert line directly using this uh, two points here. I can insert more lines directly just using this kind of inserting lines. Okay, we are now inserting another line and finally yeah we finished this we can also fill the second bay with very interesting numbers so this i'm filling the first bay and the second bay here could be this one so I, I fill it the second way. I can put the numbers in any type, integer numbers, okay? Because we are trying to refer to destination port of some containers. Four and five. Finally, I get all this uh, inserting values by line. So let's see if this works. Uh, NP shape ship this uh, let's see if it's if it works before create the object of uh, this class the container ship class so this is the this dimensions of this variable ship and also ship it's correctly created as we can see here so so let's use this variable in the container ship class i create a now an instance how i can create a new variable of container ship type i can create it like this so when i do this calling it, uh, when i perform this operation I'm just calling the constructor and the constructor will uh, use this information and use this ship NP zeros and everything inside the CS1. CS1. If you want to see, if you want to see uh, the cargo map of this variable, which type is container ship, you can do this. Okay, uh, Plotly has no qualitative, not quantitative. Okay, Quali qualitative. Let's see if. Uh, yeah, <laughs> quantitative is not, uh, does not exist. Okay, let's see if it's okay. There is another error, error here, and uh, let's check. Make subplots. Yeah, it's missing something. What is missing? the right library so from plotly sub plot import make make sub plots okay so now it's okay i believe the code is right 
Uh, the, this is the cargo map. It's empty at this moment, but we can fill it with some uh, develops of the ship so I can use uh, my new set cargo map. I created the container ship without any cargo. Okay, that's not a problem. I can just fill this using set cargo map. So now my container ship is, is loaded, corrected loaded. And uh, I know that is it seems to very simple, but it's the beginning, okay? And now we should use the, the information, the code made in previously video to draw this, this uh, container ship using this uh, values, okay? So I will show this, how you can use this code with the previously video code in the next video. So I hope you you find this video useful and interesting. In the next video, we finally get all together to finally create the container class, container ship class. And if you have any comments and like, please leave this on this video. Thank you and see you on the next video. Bye.